This is Dr. Carroll, and this is another video in the Python list series. This video is about both aliasing and cloning. So, do you have a nickname? What is it? When you got your nickname, did you suddenly become two people? No. Over the years, I've had several aliases. Most I can publicly disclose. Doctor, President, Brother, Elder, Mr. Dad, and others. And so we can create aliases, and you can think nicknames, to objects in Python using the assignment operator. Okay, we've been using the assignment operator before, so now let's look at this. My list one, okay, element A, element B, element C. Now, if we want to make an alias to it, we just assign it to another object. So now we have an alias, you can think nicknames. So if we say, hey, is my list, is it the same as my list three? Is it the same place in memory? Well, yes, it is. It, it's just a different name for it. So are they equivalent? Well, if, if it passes the is test, then it's gonna pass the equality test here. And so, um, and, and part of this is, is we can look at the ID for my list one and say, is it the same as the ID for my list three, and the answer is gonna be yes, it, they're the same. So it doesn't really matter where they are so much as they are in the same place. So let's look at a representation of this. So if we have my list one here, referencing three elements, and each of those elements are referencing a string. So if we assign it to my list three, what it does is simply just adds another arrow there. So it says, hey, I'm also referencing that. So you can use my list one to reference this list, or you can use my list three. Either way, it, it's going to work. Okay, so let, let's see some of the ramifications of this. So um, let's make an assignment to one of the elements. Say, using my list three, say we wanna change the second element and assign it to, say, 42. And so if we displayed my list three, it's going to display element A, 42, and element C, as you would have guessed. And notice here, if we display my list one, it also displays element A, 42, element C. And so this is, sent, this is because my list one and my list three are referencing the same object. Changing element one is changing the element in the other. So this would be analogous to if someone hires Dr. Carroll and pays him, does Hiram Carroll get paid? Yes, well, there's just one person. And so it doesn't matter which alias is used. So let's see that pictorially. So if we said, okay, using my list three, change the second element to 42, it's then no surprise that if we try and display it, when we go to display it with my list one, it is also changed there because it's only in, in in one place. Let's see another example of this to cement it. So here's some of my favorite local restaurants, La Nationale, Tropical Smoothie Cafe, and then my wife and I also enjoy just a random restaurant. And so we could make an alias uh, from the variable diners to restaurants. We just do that with an assignment operator. Okay, now we can refer to diners or restaurants either way it's gonna be the same um, list here. And so we can display the ID and it's gonna display some large number. And if we display diner's ID, it's also gonna display the exact same number. And so what's really important is that these IDs are the same. That's how we know it's an alias because the IDs are the same and, and that displays true. And so what if we change the third element to say, hey, there's a new restaurant, let's go try that one. Well, then what happens is when we display restaurants, it's gonna display La Nationale Tropical Smoothie and new restaurant. And then if we display diners, it's gonna also display that as well. Sorry, my screen is wrapping. Um, and so, um, and the reason why is because diners is referencing the same list as restaurants. The IDs are the same, that displays true. Now, in contrast to aliasing, let's talk about cloning. And 
Cloning in Python is to make a copy of the list, not just another name for it, but a copy. And so again, if we have restaurants, La Nationale, Tropical Smoothie, and Random, if we want to make a copy of the restaurants, we can do something like diners equals list restaurants. And so list behaves like a built-in function. It isn't one, but you can think of it as one. And when and it creates a list from another list. It doesn't just give it um, a nickname to it. So it takes the iterable here and makes a copy of it. So if we display diners, it's gonna display La Nationale, Tropical Smoothie, and Random. Not a big surprise there. Okay, so, but now let's look at their IDs. And so where in memory is restaurants and how does that compare to diners? It's they're not in the same place. They're not in the same place. If we did um, display diners equals equals list, it's gonna display true because they're equivalent, but if we said is, it's gonna display false. So now let's change one of the restaurants. Let's say, let's use diners and change the third one from random to Chick-fil-A. Now when we print restaurants, notice it's La Nationale Tropical Smoothie random because we created a copy and when you create a copy you and you modify the copy it doesn't affect the original and when we display diners it not surprisingly displays chick-fil-a now another way we can make a copy of restaurants is by using slicing and so we could have diners equals restaurants and how do we do a slice well we use the colon operator and we specify everything well the easiest way to specify everything is say start at the beginning and go to the end and that's everything and so you'll see this notation here when people want to make a copy and not have to make a call to list it's a different way and so the IDs are gonna not be the same that's gonna be false they're not the same and if we said hey uh, my wife loves Jamba Juice so if we change that second element to Jamba Juice then it's going to display it only changing for diners and not for the other one. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it.